turned out that I had to rent an apartment. Searched not very long, finances allowed. A good one-room apartment, no complaints, but clean, not far from the metro. The furniture is not very old, the price is reasonable, not expensive, not cheap. The hostess lives across the yard, if anything, she will look after the apartment, she herself is not old, and she does not look like a hysterical brawler. In general, everything is very good. I checked in and literally the next day discovered that the taps were leaking. And in the kitchen and in the bathroom, I changed the pads and it seemed to help. The kettle leaked after a week. Old tea fall cracked at the very bottom. Well, there was little water, but it got on the floor, and there was linoleum. I was afraid that it would swell, but it seemed to work out. A month has passed, I then worked all day. He came home only to eat, shower and sleep. I got up in the morning, drank coffee, and went to work. Decided to have a beer this weekend. Falling asleep, he prudently placed a bottle of mineral water next to the bed. I remember well how I put it, did not even open it. In the morning I looked with my hand, I did not find it. She lay empty in the corner. I was somehow surprised, but then I laughed at myself. It's necessary to drain such a bottle of water overnight. A week later the apartment was flooded. I was sitting at the computer at night and I hear how the water in the bathtub flowed thinly. I go there, and their whole streams flow along the wall, and it's good, at least they flow into the bath. I have a bath right opposite the entrance, across. On the left is a sink with a mirror, on the right is an old washing machine. So, there was no water there, and along the wall opposite the door flowed directly into the bath. In the morning I clearly hear someone walking in the kitchen. Dishes clinked a couple of times. I was surprised why the hostess came. There was no one else to think about, only she had the keys. I got up, pulled on my pants, and went to the kitchen. I go in and there is no one there. This is where it got scary. I stand in the middle of the kitchen and feel goosebumps running down my back. He stood, like he left. I thought I heard something in my dream. That evening we had a drink with a friend at his apartment. In the morning I returned home, and an hour later the hostess comes and slyly asks what kind of girl I have appeared. I look at her and wonder. Where did she get it, the girl appeared. And she replies that in the evening she looks out the window, and it turns out that the light in the room is on, and the girl's silhouette is visible in the window. I got scared. I tell her that I was actually not at home yesterday, I just came home. She grinned, she says she doesn't care, she understands everything. She left, and I became very restless. I slept badly at night, I woke up from every rustle. In the morning I woke up, went to the bathroom to wash my face and brush my teeth. Sleepy, eyes barely open. I have a mirror right above the sink, while I brush my teeth, I always look at my reflection. And then I notice how the curtain over the bathroom is moving. I turned around, looked, I feel a draft pulling on my legs. Relieved from the heart, I lean over the faucet, take a mouthful of water, straighten up and take a look in the mirror, and there. A hand emerges from the bathtub and flops on its edge. Green blue, long and terribly skinny. I swallowed all the water at once, I stand, I can't move. And from the bath a second hand of the same kind appeared, as if some kind of dwarf was standing at the edge inside. And I see how these hands tensed, and from there a head is shown, it sticks out halfway and looks at me. Like a woman, her hair is long, wet, hanging in strands, only her face is bluish green. I somehow turned my head, squinted my eyes, but there was nothing in the bath. I looked in the mirror again, and their IT was climbing out of the bath, like some kind of mucus overflowing and looking at me. Then I seemed to wake up and rushed from there so that, probably, I broke all speed records. Didn't take anything, nothing. Then he asked a friend to pick it up, but he himself stood in the corridor, could not enter. A friend says he didn't see anything there. He only asks why I flooded all the sofas with water and broke the mirror in the bathroom. A couple of weeks later I met the owner. She began to ask why I ran away so abruptly. She asked if I saw something. He said that it was uncomfortable for me to live there. The hostess sighed and said that three people had already left this apartment. And before them, one student lived there, 
who once opened her veins in the bathtub and lay there for a week until they missed her. I had to do a complete bathroom renovation. Thank you for your attention. Subscribe to the channel.